rounds of boxing in the super lightweight division. Fans, when these fighters come out, you may think you are at an MMA bout because both of them are actually MMA fighters that decided to put on the gloves this evening and find out who's got the quicker hands. So let's give it up for both of our fighters this evening coming out of the cage and into the ring. First, in the blue corner, please welcome Ruben War. Ruben War, interesting and, and powerful cage fighter. He took a tough loss to Tory Grant a couple months ago, sitting right now at three and five, but Ruben War is certainly a capable mixed martial arts fighter and, and uh, is going to come out tonight and, and see what his boxing uh, skills look like. Totally different environment when you come into the boxing ring. You know, when you get the MMA, you get the loud lights and the smoke and the, you know, here it's, it's a little more about technique, a little more about the toe to toes. Um, I guess I shouldn't say more, just a different technique. And now, entering the ring, fighting out of the red corner, please welcome Jared Papazian. Jared Papazian, also a caged mixed MMA fighter. A little less information available about Jared, but uh, again, makes it, making a boxing debut here this evening. And, you know, both guys are, are going to have to sort of draw on a little different uh, strategy than maybe, you know, when you've had eight or ten MMA fights, you can look back and go, well, I'm going to do what I did last time. But here, you know, they got to come up with strategy. you got to come up with something that's going to work in the boxing format. They're going to go four rounds this evening. It's kind of the same format we've been doing all day. But uh, it'll be interesting to see if, if they don't have the urge to kick. They, they can't kick. <laughs> yeah, there's no kicking in this event and no elbows. Here we go. Ed Holmes All-Star Promotions is proud to present four rounds of boxing in the super lightweight division. This bout is sponsored in part by Joe Lombardo's Bail Bonds and Redlands Ford. Once again, our referee in charge of this bout, Sharon Sand. And now, introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, he is wearing blue trunks to rim in white. He is training out of Team Victory in Inglewood, California, by way of Whittier. He weighed in 139 pounds. He is a mixed martial arts fighter tonight. He is making his professional boxing debut. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Ruben, bad boy, war. His opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the red corner. He is wearing black trunks. He is training out of Seb Zudi Boxing in Culver City by way of West Hills. He weighed in 140 pounds. This guy's pounds. got the death look. He is a UFC veteran tonight. He is making his professional boxing debut. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Jared Jackhammer Papazian. All right, fans, once again, our referee, Sharon Sands, for final instruction. Well, that's interesting. Papazian coming in out of the red corner with the black trunks has some UFC experience. He's a UFC veteran. So learning a little more about him out of Culver City. And uh, looks pretty focused over there in the red corner. Again, uh, Papazian at 140 pounds. His opponent in the blue corner, Ruben War in the blue and white trunks at 139 pounds. I do not know Papazian's record, but I believe Ruben War is at three and five in the cage fighting. So again, Ruben fighting in the blue and white, Papazian in the red and black.
Ooh, a couple big knockout punches being thrown early with bad intentions. One of the things you notice kind of right away, Papazian, pretty good footwork, keeping good position in the ring. Sort of throwing triple combinations, that left, right, left. Jab finding. Oh, and he catches a big right. Papazian definitely stuns Ruben War with a big right. War stood up right away, but he felt it. Definitely caught him off guard, and now it's on. <clears throat> Now a left connecting for Papazian, and the, the, the punches are getting thrown. Papazian tying up Ruben War a little bit, but now Ruben War coming back. I like the way War is, is, is fighting off Papazian's barrage. He, he's doing a great job of, of not letting him get the best of him. Throwing a couple nice punches himself. Ooh, Papazian taunting War now. So I'll punch him. War misses with a big left, and they tie up. And Papazian is throwing punches with bad intentions. Ooh, jab doesn't quite connect for Papazian. Kind of takes him off damage, I think, or off balance. I think he thought he was going to connect there. Ruben War now sort of his the action slowed down a little bit. Patazian maybe Patazian very focused though. Stays in his position, stays balanced, and sort of looks like he's just waiting for the opportunity. Ooh, couple oh. couple uh, combinations are connecting to for Papazian. Oh, and that one, that one took him down a little harder. Ruben War is having a hard time finding his breath right now. Looks like he may stay down. Papazian, big right hand, putting Ruben War back on his feet, on his back. Well, you know, Papazian seemed like he was just looking for that opening. He was, he was waiting. If you can see here that, wow, look at that. Look at that right. Sort of a, I don't know. That, that was, it wasn't really a, a round, yeah, almost a roundhouse around the, just caught him with a big right. And that was the second time of the fight that, that Ruben War got knocked down. But this one, that's a pretty solid connection there, Iron. Fans are watching the replay, but now they're applauding as Ruben War gets up. He's still a little shaken, but he's going to be okay. A little bit feeling on his feet a little bit here. You know, I, I can see looking at Papazian, I think it was minimal. I think Ruben War did a good job of holding him off, trying to hold him off. He came with an attack, but it seemed anyway that Papazian was just waiting for those moments to, to strike. See Papazian there talking to Ed Holmes, All-Star Promotions. Papazian out of Culver City. And, you know, maybe some of that UFC experience paying off for, you know, for him. I mean, he seemed to have the aggression. He seemed to know that, you know, in this format, he's looking for that takedown shot. Absolutely. And he got it. I tell you, it started off strong. Uh, Papazian just kept his composure and just landed those just shattering punches that took him down. Got a few people sort of hanging around 
Ruben's corner just to make sure he's okay. I don't think there's much question that he's okay, but certainly shooken up. And, you know, I'm pretty sure we got hit with a little bit of sweat off of uh, off Ruben's face, even way over here. He, he took a big, a big right hand. And, you know, I guess, you know, what do you expect? These, uh, these, these cage fighters, these, you know, MMA type guys, UFC, they bring it, man. They, they, they they're not looking to go four rounds. No, that's it's it's all or nothing, man. Coming out as soon as that bell rings, they are full hundred percent taking you out, and they don't want four rounds. Yeah, a little little different look in their in their eyes, and a little you know different look, look way that you know. I guess they're, they're, we did see some good boxing fundamentals though as well. Well, I did see a difference in the way these guys definitely box. They very very MMA style. Minutes, 59 seconds of round number one. Referee in charge, Sharon Sands, stops the contest in favor of our winner by way of knockout, Jerry Jackhammer Papazian. Well, and that goes great for Papazian. Yeah, con for Ruben Ward to get, get some love from the crowd. He definitely uh, put on a good fight, but as you'll see, it really didn't come down to much of strategy or points. It was just more of a knockout punch, and, and, and those, that's what those guys came out. That's what they were trying to do. Well, and a good fight put on by both fighters, but that's gonna definitely, definitely escalate It's going to definitely escalate Papizian because now uh, he comes out yep. into his boxing career 1-0 and with a KO. So if he decides to do that anymore, <laughs> he's off to a perfect start. Hey, fight fans, Ed Holmes, All-Star Promotions would like to give a very special thank you to Dr. Hernandez, Dr. De La Rocha, Dr. Jess Noriega, Hector Alvarado, Jay from Flight's Restaurant in Whittier. Ed always says that's his favorite restaurant, Jay's from Flight's Restaurant. Tam yeah. and Gus Jr.'s Burgers, Troy from Orchid's Market, Steve Valverde, a very special thank you to Jimmy McNeil, provider of tonight's ambulance and paramedic services. A very special thank you to Frank Catrone, also to Chase Leland of Chase Photography, official photographer of All Star Promotions. Pound for pound, Willie Trejo. Also, Francisco Salazar from, where are you from nowadays? Boxing scene and ring TV, Francisco Salazar. Give him a big round of applause. Also, a very special thank you to Dr. Roof and Solar. He has been providing solar panels since 1983, servicing Los Angeles and Orange County. Dr. Roof, all proud sponsors of tonight's event. Well, you know, I got to agree with Ed Holmes and Jim Fitzgerald there about Flight Restaurant in Whittier. Uh, I know the owner, Jay, and it is a fantastic, it's one of the best flat iron steaks I've ever had. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. It's the beatnut.